All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol HYLN, highly on holdings corp. And before we jump into this trade, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So as we go into this chart, I do want to try something new. And I know a lot of investors are probably like, oh, dude, come on, jump into the chart. And I get it. I want to apologize in advance, but I want to try something new where it can allow investors to engage and memorize certain points of the chart that are important for the next coming days or weeks so i'm going to do a trivia question at the end of the video in regard in regards to the chart and that way you guys can be aware of some important points and that's the whole point of it i want you guys to comment down below and if somebody gets the question wrong or gets it right you know don't give up everybody has the right to go ahead and say it even if you guys are all answering the same one i look forward to seeing you guys comment and it's all about a fun learning process and that's what we're here we're here to learn and grow together and as well as i want you guys to remember certain numbers so that you guys are prepared and equipped for the next trading day so i'll say something like why is the 50-day moving average so important or examples like that so it doesn't have to be specifically that but it's going to have to do with these cues and numbers that are important for the next trading day or the next coming weeks or months super important numbers that you want to go ahead and remember so i look forward like i said to see your guys's comments whether they're right or wrong and i also want you guys to engage down below and what your thoughts are if it was to cross those numbers or get close to them and and what you guys think I, I would love to see your guys's insight so let's go ahead and jump into this chart so hylion has been in a bearish run for quite some time it broke through the 50-day moving average several times on its way down right about three times in total and if you want to count this one where it slightly dipped and came back up four times and here's our fifth time so the bulls have reappeared and this is actually running up hitting new highs and also creating new resistance levels and new support levels and leveling off in bullish territory. So one of the most important things here is the lowest point reached in the whole chart in this bearish run. And that's 1810. And it was touched twice. That was a really important support level. As I stated yesterday, if it broke through it and if it broke through the first one, 1810 is an important support level right now. For the next coming days and weeks because if it breaks through 1810 this could be on its way to newer lows and new support levels now the 50-day moving average has slightly moved it's 1935 i'd write that down as long as we're above it we're in bullish territory and the moment we're below it we're in bearish territory so let's move our resistance to their new locations and let's go ahead and move our support to its new location so support was slightly touched twice but the lowest point was actually touched once it, it missed it by a little bit in the last hour but these are the lowest points reached in the last couple of hours and the highest point reached before it dipped so today was mostly a bullish run so let's look at where we're at now again 1935 is our 50-day moving average we're above it the bulls are trying to hold up and for them to continue to move further away from it in an upward direction and keep this momentum going they need to break through the highest point reached in the day and that is our resistance level that resistance level is 2097 we're currently at 2067 30 cents away if the bulls can break through 2097 and turn that into a support they can start to break away from it hit new highs hit new resistance levels and start to reach newer positions into bullish territory deeper into bullish territory and pull away from the 50 day moving average reaching those new highs so i want to emphasize for the bulls to continue this momentum and stay above the 50 day moving average and not have it catch up to the price they need to break through 2097 and turn it into a support and start to break away to hit new resistance levels so super important for the bulls to do so and they need to they can't just hang out sideways because this will catch up to the price now our support level is the lowest point reached after this bullish run 
and that is 2017. That's 50 cents away from where we're currently at. And if the Bears are able to break through that, there's still a window between 2017 and 1935 to see the behavior of the stock. We're still in bullish territory. The bulls can reappear and bring this back up, but they still need to aim towards getting to that resistance level of 2097. So keep that in mind. Now, if 2017 is broken through, I want to emphasize to all investors, pay close attention to the behavior of the stock. How quickly is it hitting newer lows? How quickly is it getting closer to the 50 day moving average? And is it on its way looking like it's going to cross it and end up in bearish territory? Because that would be a significant drop. Now, if it's hanging out sideways, giving a chance for the bulls to reappear, also pay attention to that. Look at the inflow, the outflow of the stocks. Put your one minute, your five minute, your 15 minute chart frames to pay close attention to how quickly this is moving, in which direction, and who is dominating it. So I want to emphasize, pay close attention to what is going on between 2017 and 1935 and how quickly is it moving downwards, sideways, or back up. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you watch this video. So, trivia question. I want to ask this question. It's a very important number and it actually was reached several times. What is the lowest point in this bearish run before this recovery that the stock hit and how many times did it touch it? Super important numbers to keep in mind. And that is the trivia question. How many times did it touch that low? And what was that low? And what was it when it reached it in this graph and in this chart? I look forward to seeing your guys' answers down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. In that video, I'll be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on scheduled dates. Well, these scheduled dates are important because it's the dates that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets and making, in turn, the S&P 500 index rise up several points. Well, what does that mean for us as investors? If the S&P 500 index is rising up several points, then there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it. They're rising up anywhere from $0.30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but per share it does add up. And also, like I always say, if you put $1 into the market and you got back $2, profits are profits. And the charts and the dates speak for themselves. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything. I'm not guaranteeing you profits, but it is a way to maximize profits and minimize losses. Check out the video. I go into more detail about it, but the opportunity is there. Check it out, and the dates and the charts speak for themselves, as I stated. Check it out. Should be popping up soon. If it hasn't already, click on it. And thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.